Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach. So I am very excited. This is a great day. This is my favorite part of crowdfunding. It's when the backers actually get the books. They send in the picture. So this is Women of Marvel number one. Not to be confused with Women of Marvel number one or Women of Marvel number one. This is an anthology of female creators and female artists and female characters created by men. Two out of three ain't bad. So um, the uh, person giving the uh, introduction two years ago was Louise Simonson, esteemed in the industry. The person giving the uh, introduction last year was Gail Simone. I'm not a fan, but she has written a lot of popular comics, most of them a while ago, <laughs> but still. And then let's see who the uh, person writing the introduction for Women of Marvel is this year. It is Charlie Jane Anders, who has written how many comics? That many. One row. Two of them diversity anthologies, and this is essentially the same series right here. Having a trans writer with almost no comics experience introducing the Women of Marvel is the most Marvel 2023 thing to do imaginable. So, how does it read? There was this line from this movie, As Good As It Gets, where somebody was asking a writer how he writes women, and he says something like, I think of a man, and then I take away reason and accountability. If you were to ask these women how they write women, they would say, I imagine someone who's like in first grade. And you go, Okay, and what else? That's it. Oh, so is this for first graders? No, it's for childless wine aunts in their 30s and 40s. So why is everything written for the mentality of a first grader? So one of my complaints uh, over the last few years is that Disney tween sitcom style writing has become the standard, not just for diversity anthologies, but pretty much across the board at Marvel. This is actually below the level of Disney tween sitcom writing. So the framing device is that Jen Walters is uh, putting forth a motion to dismiss against charges made to a varied group of women. They never actually show. Now you can say this is just a filing, so none of the clients actually have to be in the courtroom, but why wouldn't you have them there? Wouldn't that be, quote, fun? And let's skim read the... Uh, Introduction by Charlie Jane Anders. Many of my favorite superhero comics tell stories about women who support each other and offer mentorship, or, just as importantly, goof off, play hooky, act irresponsibly, and blow off steam. Time to celebrate women, which means writing them like they're idiots. So the first story is Black Cat is hanging out with Silk and... Finger guns! Oh, you gals are in fucking insufferable. Then we get some food, sees humor. Snackage is a must to fuel up for epic karaoke sesh. Then they start doing karaoke. And then Silwee Billy. The, the entire book is like this. Women's is Fwensies. Food sees is Yumsies. And a bad man fall down. That's literally every story. So isn't it wacky that the gal pals who have completely interchangeable dialogue and personalities... They're at a karaoke bar, and Mysterio is right next door because he's silly. Then he gets angry because they sang too loud, so they beat the shit out of him because he cast some illusions that they immediately saw through. Gal pals! Then we go back to the framing device, and the man... Oh, did I mention every villain is male? All of the men are bad, wimps, or childish so then we got another story of gal pals want to put those pretty long legs to use flattery will only get you so far these boots are new so the bad guys are a bunch of men who kidnapped a woman but it wasn't the person that they were looking to rescue but whatever they're frenzies immediately this is actually miles morales's date he shows up two seconds later that's some good writing right there and then she dismisses her boyfriend who came to rescue her. Miles is, of course, completely polite and cordial and respectful to everyone. Then his girlfriend slaps him in the back of the head. He assumed they were a lesbian couple. Just smack him in the backside of the head. Stupid ass man. 
I really like our girls' nights. Yeah, me too. He eats the pizza because he likes it. Then another framing device. Then a very, very long story about Kamala Khan visiting Photon, who is 25 years older than her. And then since the writing just doesn't matter, hey, Kamala Khan is in town for a field trip. Okay. And apparently she has her own hotel room, which is a different hotel than the other students on the freaking school. By the way, look at school bus written backwards. That is done on emergency vehicles for the front. I have never seen this. So this is probably a 3D model that was flipped and then they're just like, eh, it doesn't matter. It's a Women of Marvel comic. <laughs> Both of the villains are men because if they would have been women, they would have instantly become friendsies with the heroes and had ice queemsies. Speaking of ice queemsies, uh, where have snowball stands been all my life? Oh girl, you definitely got to come to New Orleans again. Yes, the very rare ethnic New Orleans cuisine of snow cones. This is all the evidence I need. I'm ruling in favor of the defendant, Ms. Walter's clients. Okay, so that would be the defendants. This is outrageous, Your Honor. A true miscarriage of justice. I asked for a tutti fruity flavor, and this is clearly polar punch. I demand a recount, or a revote, or, or jail. Someone should go to jail. Maybe you're the one who should go to jail. Security, bailiff, arrest that man. What the fuck? It seems to not make any sense. Okay, so it's a civil trial in federal court held days later for multiple defendants who are never seen. This is a preliminary hearing. Motion to dismiss. Okay, fine. He said he was going to put him in jail for giving too many objections at the wrong time. That was it. And now the trial is over and he did have a little bit of a tantrum. He threw his desk over. But literally the trial is over. <laughs> like he's not interrupting the trial. It's over. It would just be like, Bailiff, get him out of here. So I guess pushing a desk over gets you arrested? Uh, he is a man. No need to call security, Your Honor. I've got this. Back off, Bukowski, or else. Or else what? You won't have fun? I dare you. I've never been good at turning down a dare. Then she assaults him with super strength. Lifts him off the ground, which is a actual different type of assault. After all, sometimes a good fight is all the fun a girl needs. Gulp! So that's what they think about you, ladies. That once you get to first grade, you stop developing mentally. And they call us misogynists. I'm just saying, instead of Charlie Jane Anders, it could have been Anne Nascenti. It could have been Joe Duffy, it could have been Devin Grayson, it could have been Marjorie Lua, it could have been G. Willow Wilson. You do have Kamala Khan in here. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.